Good morning. It's our first full day in Budapest today. Um, last night we went to two different bars in Budapest which were really, really cool. They were so authentic. They were um, sort of like these underground ruins and the second place we went to, I can't for the life of me remember what it was called, but it had the craziest interior. It had like all of these um, different rooms with all these crazy decorations and it just felt like you're walking to someone's house, like someone's really cluttered house with like lamps made from newspapers and speakers that were like covered in like I don't know, like different paper mache and stuff and then like tea lights. It kind of reminded me of when I went to Berlin in Germany. Um, it's kind of got that cool trendy vibe here, the sort of kind of hipster cool thing going on. Um, but yeah, today I think we're going to make our way over to the castle and the sort of citadella area um, and sort of see what it's like over there, grab some lunch. We sort of let ourselves have a lie in because we're all very tired from travelling yesterday. It was weird, last night we went to this restaurant, we sort of picked it because we sort of spoke to the, um, spoke to one of the girls sort of stood outside and um, we sort of mentioned that I was vegan and that to ask her about what food here was, was uh, you know, available and she's like, yeah, that was fine, there's a burger, there's a salad and it was all great and I ordered a burger and I even checked with the waiter, I said, you know, is it vegan and he was a bit kind of short with me, kind of interrupted me and said like, what is it that you're asking and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, is it vegan? And he was like, yeah, it's got, it's, it's vegan it's got these things in it and I was like okay cool so I ordered it and it comes out and I have a bite I'm sure everyone lots of people can relate being vegan having these horror stories I took a bite it had mayonnaise in it and I was like oh great um, so I called the waiter over and I said it's got mayonnaise in it I can't eat mayonnaise and he got really funny with me he was like well I didn't say it did, wouldn't have mayonnaise in it like what's wrong with it it's a vegetarian burger and I was like yeah but I can't eat this, so, and he was like, okay, let me go speak to my manager. He came back out again, and he was like, oh, well, we'll what we'll do is we'll take 50% off this meal, and I was like, oh, that's great. But what he meant was 50% off the meal I'd ordered, and then I'd have to buy another burger and pay for like one and a half meals. And I was like, um, excuse me, I specifically said to you that this was vegan, and I think it ended up being lost, sort of loss of translation. I think that um, vegan is kind of, people don't differentiate between vegan and vegetarian. So I think that, yeah, it got a bit lost in translation there. But it wasn't that, it was, he was kind of just, he was just so rude, he sort of gave us a bit of a hard time, but luckily all the girls sort of stuck up for me and were like, excuse me, she mentioned that it, she was vegan and that she wanted this, and we all had a bit of a rant about it, which was <laughs> nice to have all their support. And the sort of, the woman that we spoke to first, she came over and like sort of had a go at him, or had a go at him, but sort of tried to explain to him what we were talking about, because I think she related more, because she said that she often eats vegan food. So yeah. Um, it all worked out fine, they brought out a new burger and he actually apologised at the end of the meal but it's just such a, I'm sure lots of people can relate, you have these shit experiences when you have like a dietary requirement, like they give you such a hard time for being vegan or being different or, but you're paying for your meal so you can have whatever you want. So yeah, <laughs> it ended up being alright and it was a really delicious burger, it was like a tofu burger with rocket and tomato and red onion and these massive chips. So it all worked out in the end and these things happen and yeah. Just thought I'd explain that. Sometimes it's difficult when you're travelling because you just don't know sort of what places, especially in a foreign country, because they speak a different language and it can be difficult to communicate exactly what you need. But yeah, um, <laughs> we're all getting showered and ready, and I'll see you when I look more sane. <laughs> right, we have left the apartment and we are now heading to the castle. We're walking towards the river. <laughs> I've got map in hand. And we're going to the castle. It's so nice outside. We were just saying, this is England. Sorry, it's really nosy. If this isn't England, we'd be in like summer dresses with sun, sun cream on. Um, yeah, I've got like a nice dress on. Yeah, I'll show you when we get to the river because I think we're just about to hit the river, the Danube River. So that'll be really nice when we get there. So you'll we'll probably have a vlog today of lots of sights, lots of beautiful views and all of that.
We just crossed the chain bridge and now we are walking up to the castle. Is this way? Yeah. There was a tram line but we thought it'd be fun to walk up. We're considering some off-roading. Go Chabot. Um, not sure about this. Yeah, do it. Run! Go! Go! Run! Go! 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 Too fast. Let's do this. You did it! <laughs> we just stopped off to have lunch and I had some dates and things and then everyone else had like sandwiches and we've just come to what was it? Fisherman's Bastion. Fisherman's Bastion. We'll go back to the castle because we walked past the castle to find some food and then um, we're going here now because it's just around the corner and then we'll go back to the castle to look around there afterwards. What's this then? Fisherman's Bastion. No, but this one. Part of it. Wow, one of my favourite things ever is like churches and architecture. So this is so cool. Can we go in? Yeah. Go in. It'll cost money, but we can go in. That bit where they are. Where? Yeah, to have yeah. the view. Yeah, yeah let's do that first. Yeah. Should we do that first? like that it was so cool like it was all painted inside which is amazing and I did art history at university and I never studied that church cathedrals and churches are like my favorite thing and I've never seen anything like it I think that it's a very old building that's been reconstructed and then they painted it more recently um, so yeah phenomenal if you ever come to Budapest you have to go to that church because oh, it's so breathtaking snack pit stop yummy so I'm a total noob and um, there is no castle in Budapest. Oh. Charlie, all your money, <laughs> all of your money. You oh my God, she just dropped all of her oh, money on the floor. <laughs> Get out of the way, I'm having a photo of it. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no actual like castle, castle. It's just that this area was where the castle was and then that's like the palace, which is now the museum, the Budapest, the museum of Budapest history and this is so nice it's like a sun spot isn't it sun, tra sun trap <laughs> My battery ran out when we were out, but we pretty much just came home straight after the last clip that I filmed. Um, we are now going to go to a vegan restaurant, which is amazing. It's called Nat Fenyes. Sorry if that pronunciation is terrible, it probably is. But it's an all vegan restaurant and it's rated really highly. I was recommended it by somebody on Instagram as well. And it also came up on TripAdvisor as like one of the best places to eat in Budapest. So really, really looking forward to that meal. We have booked the opera for Saturday. I've never been to the opera before and it's famous here, the um, opera house, so really, really excited for that. Um, I think it'll be quite the experience. So yeah, I'll show you the amazing treats that this place has when we get there. Chabot, mm -hmm. say hello. Hi. Say hello. Hello there. <laughs> say Hiya. <laughs>
just finished at that restaurant. It was really yummy. The guys got um, falafel and hummus, sort of like a platter, and I got a seitan with cream cheese, and uh, it was like breadcrumb sort of fake chicken style thing with rice and garlic broccoli. It was really, really yummy. Um, I got some chocolate cake and a white chocolate um, bar of chocolate. And now we are going home and we're gonna get dressed up nice and we're meeting some of Sarah's friends who are also here in Budapest um, for a drink. It's goodbye from me. We are ready. I've just done my makeup um, and got dressed and we are now going to Sarah's friend's place just nearby ours to have some drinks and then go to some bars and things and have a nice evening. So I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye.